Hi, I will show you how to install Windows XP on a MacBook late 2009 with Mac OS High Sierra installed. Before we begin, please note that it is very important to choose the right Windows XP version. For an older MacBook, a 32-bit version would work, but on a MacBook Pro with an i5 or i7 processor, you will need a 64-bit version. The most important thing to remember is that you need Windows XP SP2 or SE3. The older versions will not work. First we need to create a partition. So at Spotlight I will type Disk Utility and run it. I do not need a large Windows partition. So after I choose the partition I want to sub partition. I will press the plus button at the bottom and choose the size. I will name it Windows and I will choose to format it Ms. DOS. Fat. It will take a few seconds or longer if your hard drive is slower. On my MacBook late 2009 I have an SSD so it will not take too long to create a new partition. In some cases you may have the partition created but it might give you an error sign. I when that happens, it's just because it created a partition, but it was not formatted in Ms. DOS FAT. In the case, you just tap on the Windows partition and choose MS DOS FAT and reformat it. Caution. Make sure you do not format the wrong partition, otherwise you might delete all the data on the wrong partition. If you are not comfortable with that, just stop everything. I will not take any responsibility if you choose the wrong partition. When you are done creating a new partition, insert the Windows XP SP2 or SP3 on the DVD drive, hold the Alt key and reboot. When you reboot, choose the CD or DVD to boot from. Now the MacBook is booting from the Windows XP installation CD. Once again, we have to be very careful of the next steps, because if we choose to install it the wrong partition, we will wipe out the Mac OS partition. Now, we need to press Enter to set up Windows XP. Afterwards, Simply hit the F8 key to proceed with installation. This is the part we need to pay attention. Make sure you choose the Windows partition you created earlier, otherwise you will wipe out the Mac OS partition. When you are 100% sure you chose the Windows partition, press Enter. Select Format the partition using the NTFS file system quick and press Enter. Now to format the drive press the F key. At this stage, the installation files will be copied to the Windows partition. It will take several minutes. When this process ends, the Mac will reboot. Since the Mac is set to reboot on Mac OS High Sierra, you will have to remember to hold the Alt key and choose to boot from the Windows partition. Looks like we have time for a couple of jokes. I will ask my best friend Alexa to tell me a joke. Alexa tell me a joke. A jump lead walks into a bar and asks for a beer. The barman says, okay, but don't start anything. I think you can do better than that. Alexa, tell me another joke. Why can't a bicycle stand on its own? Because it's too tired. I think I should find someone else to tell me good jokes. Fine, one last chance. Alexa, tell me another joke. Why did Santa have to cancel karaoke night? Too many Elvish impersonators. Ha ha ha, I think you just saved your bacon. Remember now to hold the Alt key and choose to boot from the Windows partition.
Now simply follow the easy instructions to complete Windows XP installation. It will take several minutes to complete installation, and then the Mac will reboot. Once again, you will have to hold the Alt key and choose to boot from the Windows partition. We have now reached the final stage of the Windows XP installation, and we are almost done. All you have to do now, is find the MacBook, Mac OS X installation DVD, pop it in the drive, click on Boot Camp folder, and run Setup X. This will install all the Boot Camp drives on your Windows XP partition, and it will make your MacBook a perfect Windows machine. When Setup is completed, reboot to Windows XP so the drivers can load. Congratulations! Now you have installed Windows XP on a MacBook with Mac OS High Sierra. How cool is that? To go back to Mac OS High Sierra, simply go to Control Panel, click on Boot Camp and select the system you want the computer to start up to Mac OS. If you forget to do that, or if you do not remember which startup partition you picked, just simply hold the Alt key when the MacBook boots up, and choose the partition you want to boot up from. I will now demonstrate how to choose Mac OS High Sierra by default and let it reboot to that partition. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. For your convenience, I will place this tutorial on my bootcamp playlist, where you can find the other bootcamp installation tutorials including Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10, all installed on Macs with Mac OS X ranging from Snow Leopard to Mac OS High Sierra. I will soon make a tutorial on how to install the other Windows flavors on a MacBook Pro running Mac OS High Sierra, so stay tuned. At the end of this video, I will show you how to find my playlist, so don't go away, stay tuned. If you would like to see more videos related to Macintosh computers or Apple products in general, please go to my channel, Addicted to Macintosh, and look at the playlists. There are many videos on many different Apple products, including Mac's High Sierra. You can also check my bootcamp playlist. There are many videos on how to install Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 on a Macintosh. Check it out. Aditya Macintosh, YouTube channel. Hundreds of Apple-related videos uploaded. Thank you for...
sharing, subscribing, liking, and viewing.